Teaching officers in schools. Olivia Przinsky attended tonight's meeting. She joins us live in our newsroom. And tonight, uh, Olivia, what are some of the alternatives that they are offering? Hi, Tom and Caitlin. The board was presented with three different alternatives to school resource officers. The alternatives included full-time consultants, which would be more of an outside force who support training, accountability, respond to, and de-escalate situations. This is a model that Minneapolis Public Schools uses, uses and has seen success. The board was also presented with the idea of having its own private police force, but, this, it, but an issue posed with this is a model of high level, high level of liability. Final, in, finally, enhanced security guards were presented but an issue with this is the model of, of this model is knowing when to get involved in a situation. Sometimes it's about the person making the referral rather than the SRO. And so my stance in this whole time has not been anti-SRO, it's been anti-systems of inequity that are negatively impacting our students. The main theme of the options presented tonight to the school board was that building a strong partnership between their school security would resolve most issues. I view that uh, the issue is not just uh, based on what, uh, whether or not one wears a uniform or uh, sits in a classroom, but it is something much more basic, call it sin. Uh, and uh, uh, so I don't think there's a, uh, perfect um, prototype, if you will. If the board decides to terminate its contract with the Rochester Police Department, they must take action before June 1st. Live in the newsroom, I'm Olivia Pronzinski, KTDC News. Olivia, thank you. And on a windy day,